A very warm welcome to all viewers and thank you for visiting this channel. Today, we will understand about the ICAO NX15 on Anautical Information Services. This is useful to all aviation personnel, including flight crew, ATC, airport operator, flight dispatch, and many more. Let's begin. The object of Anautical Information Service is to ensure availability of anautical data, anautical information, for global air traffic management system. Annex 15 is the ICAO document concerning the standards and recommended practices for the provisions of a nautical information service. The integrated nautical information package is a system of dissemination of information essential to aviation operations and safety. It consists of a nautical information publication, AIP amendments, supplement to the AIP, NOTEM, pre-flight information bulletins, and nautical information circulars. Need, the safety, regularity, and efficiency of international air navigation rely on an organized and efficient flow of information. Objective, Annex 15 specify that each contracting state must provide a nautical information service for collection and distribution of a nautical information for use by all types of aircraft operations. Annex 15 also specify that the state concerned remains responsible for the nautical information published. AIP consists of three parts, part one, two, and three. Part one is general, part two is en route, and part three is aerodrome data. Part one general is divided into five sections, which are general zero, which is a record of AIP amendments or supplement checklist and table of contents. General one is national regulations and requirements on facilitation flight documents, summary of national regulations and international agreements and conventions, differences from ICAO standards and recommended practices we can get in general one. General two consists of tables and codes, measuring system, aircraft markings, holidays, abbreviations used in AIS publications, chart symbols, a cow four letter location indicator, list of radio nades available, conversion tables, sunrise and sunset tables. General three is about services, which include an nautical information services, an nautical charts, air traffic services, communication services, metallurgical services, and search and rescue. General four is about aerodrome and air navigation services. AIP part two is en route, which is divided into seven sections. En route zero, table of contents. En route one, general rules and procedures. En route two, air traffic services, airspace. En route three, ATS routes. En route four is on radio navigation aids and system. En route five, navigation warnings like prohibited, restricted, and danger areas are published here. En route six is en route charts. Part three, airdom data of AIP has five sections. Airdom zero. Table of content, aerodrom one, aerodrom helipads and introduction, aerodrom two, which is on aerodromes, aerodrom three is on heliports, and aerodrom four, detailed information about other aerodromes. AIP supplement, temporary changes of long durations, more than three months, is published in AIP supplement. Information of short duration, but which contains extensive text or graphics are also published in AIP supplements. Each AIP supplement is allocated a serial number, which shall be consecutive and based on the calendar year. A checklist of AIP supplement, which are in force, is issued at an interval of not more than one month. AIP supplement pages should be colored in order to be conspicuous, preferably in yellow. Temporary changes anticipated to last less than three months are considered to be information of short duration which is distributed by NOTEM. When this period is exceeded and expected to last for an additional three months or more, an AIP supplement is issued, which replace the existing NOTEM. Each AIP supplement issued in replacement of a NOTEM includes a reference to the serial number of the NOTEM. AIP amendment, 
permanent changes to the AIP are published as AIP amendments. Each AIP amendment is allocated a consecutive serial number and each amended page, including the cover sheet, shows the publication date. The AIP is amended or reissued at regular intervals by replacement pages. AIP has all information for safe and efficient flight operations. Any change information that is significant for aviation safety is required to be published as AIP amendment or supplement. Users should have sufficient advance notice for such information so that they can adopt the changes which will occur in future date known as effective date and operators or users can modify the FMS or other database. ERIC cycle. ERIC stands for Aeronautical Information Regulation and Control Procedures. There are three dates, publication date, reception date, and effective date. Publication date, when AIS organization sends out the information, AIRIC, AIP amendment or supplement, which is at least 42 days before effective days, and if any major changes there, it should be in 56 days in advance. Publication of a trigger notem at publication date coming to force on respective ERIC date and remaining in force for 14 days. Reception date is the date when user should receive the publications. Effective date when changes will take effect. Anautical information circulars is a notice containing information that does not qualify for the organization of a NOTAM or for inclusion in AIP, but that relates to flight safety, air navigation, or technical, administrative, or legislative matters. AIC lapses after five years, but if still considered important, it may be reissued after five years. The AICs are color coded. White means operation circular. Yellow pertains to administrative matters, including ATC facilities and requirements. Pink signal safety issues. Green pertains to map and chart information and mauve intimates amendments and airspace restriction charts. Pre-flight information bulletin is a preparation of operationally significant valid notum prepared directly prior to the flight. Notum, notice to the airmen are required whenever information is of direct operational significance the timely knowledge of which is essential for personal involved in flight planning and realization. Notem are to be originated and issued promptly whenever the information to be distributed is of a temporary nature and of a short duration, or when operationally significant permanent changes or temporary changes of long durations are made at short notice. Notem should not remain in force for more than three months. Now we will discuss about the type of Notems. Series A NOTEM, it contains information in respect of changes or unserviceability of anautical facility or procedures or hazards likely to last for more than two hours. In respect of location of direct importance to international aircraft operations. Series B, it contains information in respect of changes, unserviceability of anautical facility procedures or hazards likely to last more than 30 minutes, but less than two hours in respect of location of direct importance to international aircraft operations. So difference between series A and series B is series A, which lasts for more than two hours and series B is issued when it is less than two hours, but greater than 30 minutes. And similarity is it is for international aircraft operations. Series C NOTEM contains information in respect of changes, unserviceability of anautical facilities, procedures, or hazards in respect of a location used by domestic flights only. Series C is given national distribution only. Series D contains information in respect of changes, unserviceability, etc., of anautical facility or procedures or hazards in respect of a location of defense controlled airfield used by civil flights. So we can remember D defense series g it contains significant anautical information of lasting character affecting aircraft operations and it is issued by international autumn office so only series g is issued by international autumn office and the information is of lasting character affecting aircraft operations there are few other notems which are snotem uh, which is based upon the runway condition report we have a separate tutorial on this validities of eight hours and ashtem which represents volcanic activity, volcanic eruption, volcanic ash clouds, and validities of 24 hours. 
Thank you, viewers. We have come to the end of this session. Let's revise what we have understood so far. We have discussed an article information service, which are standards and recommended practices of NX15, integrated an article information service package, consists of AIP, AIP amendment, AIP circular, AIP supplements, pre-flight information bulletin, and NOTEM. And then we have discussed type of NOTEMs. I hope you understood this topic. For more such informative videos, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to share the channel link with your friends. See you next time. Till then, take good care of yourself.